Dr. Yoni Witten here, and today we're going over my top three scientifically proven ways to improve your balance and prevent falls. Let's get into this. Among older populations, balance issues are a huge problem. One single fall can be absolutely catastrophic for a person's health, and it can alter the whole course of their life. Here in the United States, 33% of our elderly population falls at least one time each year. And we spend about $50 billion every single year treating the injuries that result from those falls. I think we can all agree that the best way to deal with this is to prevent the falls before they ever happen. The first strategy that I want to cover for improving balance and preventing falls is just by supplementing with a high quality, active form of vitamin D. Now, multiple studies have shown that having low blood levels of vitamin D results in a significant increase in fall risk among elderly populations. We also have research showing that serum or blood levels of vitamin D decrease steadily as women age. Now, this article from the journal Bone and Mineral Research 2008, researchers in Japan looked at about 3,000 subjects aged ranged 65 to 92 years, and they found that just having low vitamin D levels in your blood was significantly associated with a higher prevalence of falls among elderly women due to inferior physical performance. In 2009, British Medical Journal, they followed up, and these researchers found that simply by taking an active form of vitamin D3 as a supplement every day in the amount of 700 to 1,000 international units, you could reduce your fall risk by 22%. That's a huge improvement for very little effort, and that's why this is my first recommendation. The second strategy that we're going to talk about for improving balance and preventing falls, you're probably not familiar with. And even though it might seem weird to you, there's a lot of data to support its use. Plus, it has the additional benefit of being absolutely free, and that's backward walking. Now, there's quite a bit of research showing that backward walking increases activation in the muscles of your legs, it improves stability when standing and walking, and it decreases impact on your joints. Now, this article from 2018 was super interesting because they took a bunch of people right after they had a stroke and they split them up into two groups. Group one underwent this long series of what they called standard balance training. It was over like 65 different exercises. And the other group just did backward walking, okay? They did this for eight sessions and they measured physical functionality, they measured cognitive performance, and they measured um, ability to balance. And what they found was the two groups were pretty even. So you could do this big group of exercises or you could just backward walk. But specifically when it came to the measures of a person's balance, the backward walking group blew the other group completely out of the water. You're talking about over eight sessions. The standard balance training group improved by 15, nearly 16%, whereas the backward walking group improved by over 35%, both with eight sessions. So it seems pretty clear that if you can have somebody backward walk and more than double the benefit, that that's the direction you want to be going. There are a few important things to keep in mind if you're going to try backward walking. Now, first and foremost is selecting the right environment. I strongly recommend that you choose a wide open space. You don't want to have to worry about crashing into oncoming traffic or walking into a parked car, or running into a jogger or a cyclist or somebody's pet. So wide open spaces are your best bet. Next, you want to select a place that has flat, even ground. You should avoid places that have divots and potholes and cracks in the sidewalk and curbs and speed bumps and anything else that could trip you up and knock you over. You can go slight uphill when walking backwards, but you always want to avoid going downhill while walking backwards. Next, you should be timing this at about three to five minutes and you should be trying to look over your shoulder so that you know where you're going while you're walking backwards. And then finally, I recommend going out with a friend and have them walk forward next to you while you walk backwards so that they can spot and watch out for any obstacles along the way. And then after three to five minutes, you can switch, you can go forward, they can go backward, and you can watch out for them. That way you can get all the benefits of this activity, keep it safe, and make it fun and social at the same time. Whole body vibration is another powerful strategy for improving your balance and preventing falls. And if it weren't for budget constraints, this would be my number one recommendation. See, it would be hard to come up with a better training method 
for preventing falls than by having somebody stand on a platform where they're having to overcome forces that are shoving them front to back and side to side and up and down, and they have to maintain an upright posture that whole time. As it turns out, when you get good at doing that, it's pretty hard to knock you over. This study from 2014 looked at tests of functionality and balance and fear of falling. And what they found was as little as 15 minutes, three days a week for six weeks led to significant improvements in balance and a decreased fear of falling. This study from 2011, the journal Osteoporosis, they took 151 postmenopausal women and they split them up into three groups. Group one was the control group. They didn't do anything. There were two training groups that both did 20 minutes of dancing, five minutes of balance training, 20 minutes of gymnastics, and 15 minutes of leg strengthening exercises. They did this twice a week. One of the training groups did their leg strengthening in the presence of whole body vibration, and the other one did not. What they found at the end of 18 months was the group that did their leg strengthening exercises with whole body vibration had a 50% reduction in falls over the control group. Absolutely amazing. And that's why whole body vibration is number three on this list. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. For more information about the best whole body vibration platforms on the market, check the link in the description down below. Now, PowerPlate is generously offering 20% off to the members of this community just by using that link. I'm also going to include a couple of links for high quality vitamin D3 supplements down there. So be sure to check those out. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the new videos that come out each week and comment down below with any pain or posture related topics. That's all for now. See you next time.